What is unstructured data? Hi, I'm Ben Atma, and I help businesses with their data. So we explore how they can use data more effectively to run their business, to inform their decisions. And one of the questions that comes up regularly is what's unstructured data? Basically, it means the data hasn't got a structure. So structured data is data we can easily put into rows and columns or predefined fields. So if I wanted to look at how many sales transactions have I had this month, I can put this into a nice Excel spreadsheet with, sheet with rows and columns and I can put the data in. Unstructured data, on the other hand, hasn't got the structure. You can think of text files, so someone sends you an email or a social media post. There is no real structure. I can't just put this easily into rows and columns. In the same way, I can't do this for photographs or video footage. So these are all examples of unstructured data. So this is not something I would keep in an Excel, Excel spreadsheet or a relational database. I would usually put this into a data storage like a data lake. But nowadays we can use this information. Actually, 80 to 90% of all the data in the world is what we would call unstructured data. So the vast majority hasn't got this very simple row, column, predefined fields uh, structure but it is photographs, video footage, sensor information, voice recordings, text, and so on. What has changed is that we can now analyze this data. So in the past, we basically only relied on structured data because we could easily analyze those numbers and those rows and columns using traditional analytics methods. With unstructured data, we can now, for the first time, use this information by using things like artificial intelligence and advanced analytics. So companies like Facebook are doing this very effectively. They're using deep learning technology. They use a, call, a tool called DeepFace to recognize our faces. They use a tool called DeepText to analyze what we are saying in our social media posts and not only the content of what we're saying but also the sentiment and the emotions behind those those posts so for the first time we can now analyze this and this is opening up huge opportunities for for businesses they now have these billions of photographs and video footage and text messages and emails and you can, for the first time, use this information to gain insights you could never have before. So hopefully this clarifies what unstructured data is, is all those data sets that don't simply fit into predefined fields, but they are more complex. We have something else, which is called semi-structured data. And this is probably what nowadays most digital files are because semi-structured means that they have some elements of a structure. So for example, if I take a photograph on my iPhone, this photograph will be time-stamped, geo-stamped, device-stamped. So I have lots of information saying this was taken on this device at this location at this time. So this is a structured data set that sits alongside my photograph, which is a more unstructured data set. And this is where lots of the advancements are happening, being able to understand what is on photographs, understanding what people are saying in text and in voice recordings is the leading edge of analytics. And this is something I help organizations do. If you would like to learn more, Head to my website at bernardmar.com where you can find tons of articles, white papers and videos that will give you a lot more insights into real-world case studies and examples.